Hi everyone, I'm Fabiana Rodriguez, artist and activist. And today I'm going to show you how to create your own social justice poster. We are in an unprecedented time in our human history and the role of artists has never been more important. Artists help us see the light in times of crisis and they help us imagine a better future. Let's get started. Here are the supplies that you will need for this activity. A pencil, colored markers, thick black markers, a pair of scissors, a glue stick, thick poster board or a piece of cardboard, and colored paper so that you could print out. I've prepared a PDF with some of my drawings to get your creative juices flowing. This packet includes human faces, butterflies, fists, and a lot of elements that I commonly use in my art. You can download the PDF to print out right here. A social justice poster is about communicating and showing your values. What do you care about? Freedom, racial justice, gender justice, the environment? I care about all of those things, and I love to make art that inspires people to act. I love to use bold colors, human faces, and symbols from nature. For example, in my Migration is Beautiful poster, the butterfly represents the right of all living things to move, especially people. In this other example, this collage about ecofeminism includes the rays of the sun, which represent a new beginning and a brighter future. And finally, in this print that I created when the pandemic first started, I show two figures who are at a safe distance from each other. Now that you have your materials ready, let's go over three guidelines to create your social justice poster. Number one, keep it simple. The power and the beauty of a poster is that folks need to understand it right away. People are gonna look at your art for under five seconds. What message do you want to communicate? I like to keep my posters at six words or less. Like this. Number two, use symbols from our culture that people will easily recognize. Here are some ways that I use symbols in my work. A heart symbolizes love. A cocoon symbolizes transformation. A fist symbolizes power. I've also included some human faces for you to play with because we human beings love to see ourselves represented in art. And finally, remember that symbols from nature can be really effective. For example, a thunderbolt symbolizes strength and a plant symbolizes growth and beauty. Number three, create your poster using collage. Collage is one of my favorite mediums because I really enjoy playing with the elements until I land on something I really love. You could cut out elements from my packet or you could draw your own using a black marker on colored paper. From one artist to another, here are some suggestions on how you can make your poster pop. Think about how the colors and shapes work together to create their own dance. Cut out your words in bold colors. Add some shapes to create some cool backgrounds. Think outside of the rectangle and create a cool shape for your poster. Now it's time to get to work and create your own poster. When you're done, take a photo of it, upload it to social media, and tag us here. Have fun!